What is up? I'm Alana Turtle, and today we're gonna do a marketplace for the some of the big stuff that's going around in Pokemon TCG right now, primarily Hidden Fates, since this is like the most hyped thing uh, in quite some time. And uh, let's see, actually, to start, so that was really fast. Uh, I I'm hoping at least someone managed to get a pre-order of the uh, premium collection box that we did a video for yesterday. It's already sold out. I'm not sure when it got listed. I think someone on Reddit. All right, so I did manage to find it. So I did uh, saw earlier when I was at work a post on from on Reddit about the Game Nerd site, how they kind of had it. it. Wasn't even available two days ago. <laughs> it's already gone. I feel like that's pretty insane. That kind of goes. I mean. We have no idea how many they actually had and stuff like that, but it is just like a data point that kind of points to, you know, that this thing is super popular and, you know, the places that you can pre-order it are kind of rare at this point. So wherever we can try to like save money or maybe just secure our product is definitely worth discussing. And so to, this is not exactly for that exact product, but I do want to bring up one thing. I, a couple of people commented that in Canada, they are having some problems pre-ordering stuff. And so this is a place that I have purchased Yu-Gi-Oh cards from. So it's shop4megastore.com. And we'll just do a quick hidden bait search. And the thing that is here is you can order, pre-order the tin still. Uh, so in, so it is, you don't get to pick which one. Uh, it'll kind of like randomly assume. So, you know, I feel like to not get your hopes too high, just assume you'll get Gyarados and Raichu, you know. Uh, I have no idea how they do it. I haven't been a customer. I haven't purchased too many stuff from them. Uh, I wouldn't expect it to be arrive on release day, but I think this is a way you can kind of secure your selection. One interesting thing about the site, and they are doing it some kind of 10% back in rewards, so that helps too. Um, the reward system is kind of weird though because no matter how many points you've accrued, the rewards you can only account for like 10% of your purchase, which I find very strange and off-putting to be honest. But hey, it's 10% back in rewards points. And it is at that $20, $20 which is kind of like where you would get it at Target or GameStop. Uh, the interesting thing is that they ship from the UK. And however, <laughs> they do say that they do have free shipping to US and Canada. But, so I'm very curious how this company works because yeah, when I got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards from them, they came from <laughs> overseas. And I think some people said that in, in um, uh, various places in Europe, like there it was, you know, the, the prices were actually for some products, they would say pretty low for pre-orders. Uh, but then in other instances to currently buy it, it's super expensive. Uh, so my understanding is it ships from UK, but this is only free shipping to us and canada but anyway for for the people in canada that are having trouble maybe this would be something to help you out for um don't in, my guess is that if you get six maybe you'll get two of each, each but uh don't be terribly surprised if you just get like three raichu and three gyarados um and uh yeah so i think that's all it for there but i think uh that's basically all they had they didn't have any what the, they didn't have a any other stuff that you could really get from them so as far as like that premium collection box i'm not aware of any other place you can pre-order yeah they're completely out of everything else so just something to be aware of next let's uh, next let's move on to tcg player they are running a eight dollar eight percent bonus bucks um so maybe now's a good time to pick some stuff up and we'll kind of evaluate what we maybe should be looking at all right so we're going to go right into hidden fates let's see Char oh, so earlier today, especially with this 8%, like there was one, I think it was like 351 or something. It's like, oh man. No. But then after like thinking about it for a minute, it's like, all right, before you impulsively buy something, just think about it for a minute. It's like, all right, this card just came out. 350 sounds a little high. So I continue to hold back. But at the same time, every single time something gets listed for less than $400, like the market is just gobbling it up. So. You know, maybe I'm still. Oh my gosh! And there's only one for four four hundred. Then they go straight to four fifty. Oh, all right. Let's take it. Check eBay. How things are selling. And this kind of backs that up. Like that 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 price is holding super high. Four hundred five. These are sold listings. I have no idea what's going on here. This has got to be some kind of troll thing. Three fifty. So yeah, I'm not sure how that one snuck through. Maybe maybe there's a nick on or something. 
Uh, then from here, like the best offers, I'm assuming they're around 400 or something. So yeah, Charizard's holding that, that $400 plus price point. I find that super insane. Let's just see what we go here. Uh, so anything below 100 is definitely just a digital thing. 500, this thing. Six, six days left, already 300. Uh, every, actually, let's just do buy it now. And, uh, oh, I hate when they, it's annoying when they do that. But so, yeah, Charizard's holding that price point. All right, let's see, what's next on the list? Cynthia, TCG player, nine, oh, actually, and on eBay, they are having their own promotion. Sometimes these are not open to everyone, but they have their own 5% uh, bucks thing. Uh, so TCG player, obviously a little bit more, and it, a little bit better. Like, I feel like eBay, I think it pays, you get it once a quarter, I think, um, TCG play, you get it after a couple weeks or something like that. So it's a little bit more flexible and it's more so TCG play, obviously, a little more. Cynthia, but I think some of the prices can potentially get a little cheaper off eBay. Actually, let's just click into this and uh, I should have opened the new tab. Oh, not many listings, and basically they're all just under or over $100. And looks like you can get, can get it significantly cheaper on eBay. Uh, number of sold listings under 90, some at 80s, or some at 80. Uh, so Cynthia seem to be going pretty cheap on eBay compared to TCG Player. Let's see what Lele's going at. 75 for the Lele. I'm just going to hit like the biggest ones. Um, Cynthia is kind of surprising because uh, actually, uh, sorry, losing my train of thought. Lele card's not even in rotation. Gold Lele, 75. Let's take a look. Not many, I'm surprised there's so few listings. Everyone's going to eBay. Uh, but even the Lele seems like you can get a little bit cheaper. With When you consider the cash back, it's, it's close. Um, but I think, I think overall, one takeaways, there's not that many. And uh, actually from Louis, like Luis, uh, that kind of said sent those pull rates to me. You know, one out of hundred, like, Wow, that's uh, kind of, I'm surprised, part of me is surprised the price is not higher. Mewtwo, uh, coming in around 50, 60, sometimes, yeah, oh, 45, 35, wow. Oh no, digital card. I uh, got to keep an eye out for that. But uh, let's see how it's looking on TCG Play. This one, to be honest, I feel like Mewtwo a lot of times are strong out of the gate. And then over time, like if a year later, like the price kind of settles in a much lower one. I'm gonna refer to the uh, Shining Legends one. I've, I'm not sure off the top of my head, like which one, maybe one was much easier to pull than the other, but as far as my my take on Mewtwo cards is that there's initial hype and then the price goes down a little bit. Uh, I'm hoping the same thing happens with Charizard. Uh, but that's I feel like that's what happened for the Test Tube Mewtwo and the Rainbow Mewtwo for Shining Legends. Uh, and then there's one more I want to hit, uh, Shrine of Punishment. This one is interesting. So in the Japanese printing, they held off. Actually, they still do that a lot for the full art. The Secret Rare version comes in a later set. And so this was printed back in Celestial Storm. And there are instances that support that, you know, that this set... Uh, actually, let's just say that it's unclear if there will be a full art printing of it. Um, and in the case it's not, I feel like this will, until it rotates out, be a very useful card. Uh, so I, I could see this one going up in price. Like this one maybe won't go down, maybe it'll go up. Uh, so ultimately I don't think I'll get one for that. I still think it's kind of expensive, but just something to be aware of. And uh, let's see, what's next? Sorry, I kind of have a lot of tabs open. Mewtwo. All right, yeah, Shrine of Punishment. Uh, on eBay is, ooh, seems like you can get some of them for pretty cheap, but again, there's not that many sold listings. Six results all together. It's kind of surprising. Um, but yeah, so TCG player having an 8% back, maybe it's a good opportunity. And while everyone's so focused on Hidden Fates, maybe there's some other things we can pick up. Uh, one that came to mind was Reshizard, like, oh man, 160. I, I remember not too long ago, they were at, um, hover around that 200 mark and then like if something was at 180 quickly gets gobbled up these guys have dropped significantly it's obviously this can only mean or this could mean two things where 
it will continue down a downtrend, so maybe it's like a hold out, or there's so much focus on hidden fates and there's a lot of wallet fatigue from everyone trying to buy these collection boxes and stuff like that, that maybe this will just be a temporary dip in price and maybe it'll go back to towards that $200 mark. I'm not sure, but I, it is significantly cheaper than let's say two months ago. And with that 8% back, maybe it's worth it to jump on that. And, oh, actually one. So with the, uh, a lot of these standard decks right now with the, uh, like the Mewtwo's and stuff like that, like I feel like they're running a lot of Dedenes where I feel like a couple months ago, it was like you had one and now they have definitely have more than one. I think some of them are running like three. So look at this, for just the regular GX, as low as $37, what's, let me know, or I'm curious, do people just, actually, I'm in the same boat where I'm starting to like full arts better than the rainbow rares, and <laughs> here we are, like, does anyone know why, is, is that the reason why the full art is higher price than the rainbow rare? I think that actually happened with Zero Aura in Lost Thunder as well, which I found very interesting. And to be honest, I, I'm behind it, but I thought that was kind of like my own thought versus like the general consensus. So if you kind of know what's up with that, let me know in a comment, because I thought that was very interesting. And, um, but yeah, in general, like maybe now is a good time to pick up some stuff from non-Hidden Fate sets. The, I think the other Charizard, the Rainbow Zard, I think it's still, that one might be, you know, the price maybe will never budge at this point. If anything, maybe it's only going to constantly go up. Let's take a look. Last I saw, it was still at 250 at least if you filter for near mint. Oh wow, so few. But then, if, uh, if you are good with light play, which is kind of subjective in my opinion. I feel, I feel like I've gotten some cards that were light play that I, like had like noticeable nicks to, to the point where like no this is moderately played and then luckily i think ttg play is usually pretty good about negotiating those situations but yeah maybe now is a good time to pick up a couple of versus arts if you were to get graded probably like zero percent chance to get a 10 but hey maybe you can get an eight or a nine um from something that would only cost like 160 dollars before the eight percent back and uh just you know as far as what i'm going to maybe probably do is Look to some older stuff that I kind of want to have like a binder collection for and I don't really care if it's light play. The one that I'm curious about is a era that I really I wasn't around for. I didn't even know it happened until until I came back into the um, the hobby. And that is like the prime. Oh, sorry. Uh, actually, we'll just finish that thought. The primes. Uh, I feel like this was uh, so it's during like Undaunted Triumphant, and you know I feel like this was a not a forgotten era, but a unappreciated era of the TCG. And prices are super low, especially if, let's just filter for light play near mint. Uh, this would be, for me, myself, just be a binder collection. I probably wouldn't send these into to be graded. And all right, let's ignore the gold stars, obviously. But then from there, you know, everything, the most expensive ones are maybe like uh, 16 and, oh, that's not, that's pretty high. This is not the best filter, but my point is <laughs> there's a lot of ones you could pick up for like less than $10. And so just maybe now is a good time to build out a collection like that. Uh, I think at one point I did something similar for like the brakes. The brakes are cool to look at and I feel like it was just kind of unappreciated. And so like the prices were super low. It's like, oh my gosh, I could pick up the entire brake collection to have for a binder collection. I think I got it for like, I don't know less than 50 maybe it's like 30 dollars or something and then you incorporate like cash back or something like that so uh maybe just think about you know oh what are your collection goals and maybe you can fill in some of those and then the last thought is this card ultra necrozma uh i feel like this kind of like reiterates some of the you know why in my opinion i would kind of like hold off on purchasing anything the only one that's a big question mark to me is obviously the charizard but everything else i feel like after initial hype 99% of the time the price will go down and I feel like this is a perfect example when this guy first came out I think to buy a raw was a hundred dollars and you know and I don't have one <laughs> so this is another thing I'm eyeballing with this 8% cash back uh, to pick up oh maybe now it's a fine especially when as far as the gold cards for hidden fates Ultra Necrozma isn't included uh, as far as when we say like oh the whole set has been revealed it did not include Ultra Necrozma because it was already part of Dragon Majesty so 
you know, and I feel like that card it looks really cool. Uh, so just another potential thing to consider picking up with this, with these cashback offers to that are going around right now. Uh, so that's it for today for this marketplace episode. Um, if this is something that you particularly like or you find useful, let me know in a comment below. This is only the second time I've tried this, so I am looking for some feedback. Uh, are there other things that you think that should be included that we should kind of keep an eye on? And uh, if anything of that applies, let me know. Um, I'm not sure if there's interest, but like I basically have like a daily email from eBay that's like, oh, these are the newest listings for Shiny, for Gold Star. Um, so it's something that I do monitor. And if it's if there's any topics that you would like to have covered, let me know in a comment down below. Other than that, guys, um, that's it for today. As always, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the support on the channel lately. And um, yeah, look at our little two buddies over there. Like a Indiana Jones cosplay kind of thing going on. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.